Did it really? Well, because it's, the unemployment figure is down to 8.5 percent. Does cooking come to mind? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headline. Get to be on again, so. I get to be on again. Yeah, they like you more than me. <laughs> So here's the, the unemployment figures. Okay, Obama is like celebrating, like pat on the back because it's what under nine percent, like eight point was five percent. But really, what is behind those numbers? Well, uh, okay. Uh, right after he went on the air today, a former member of his administration came out and explained that uh, that the president of the United States simply was cooking the books because the uh, the experts have predicted 120,000 new job hires. And the amount of people, that, uh, what they did was they added X amount of people in shipping and transportation. They added X amount of people in shipping and retail and added X amount of people at the uh, amusement parks yeah. and, play, and people like that, entertainment areas. And it came to 120,000. And they said the reason why, he said if they hadn't have added those people to the count, they'd have only added 80,000 new jobs, which was... Uh, 30,000, 40,000 under what was predicted, which means the economy shifting backwards, not going forward. Oh, but then he also oh, pointed out the oh. fact, he said every president since Franklin Delano Roosevelt, when they're in trouble, cooks the um, unemployment books. Uh, and Obama is now being called a great job creator due to the millions of jobs he has created that have saved the economy from Bush and the Republican destruction. I know, that's what he, he, he is proudly announcing that he is creating jobs in an environment that is hostile to jobs being created, and the small business is just, uh, you know, jumping with joy. Well, no, the small business people are basically suing him in court today over his anti-jobs initiatives. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, he's he's put new rules on trucking, which will put, okay, the Trucking Association, which is the backer of the Obama election, are cheering his new mileage rules, which basically hurts every small trucker in the country and forces that will force them out of business and force the truckers, the big trucking companies, to handle all the work, so. And Obama's looking old and very tired and uh, tells Americans to stand clean our military, fund social programs and green programs, and Obamacare. I know, that's, uh, he's going to save enough money. Uh, this is $440 billion on top of the $700 billion that the agreement was to cut, which means the, um, they said the, uh, they're going to be down to 400 plus billion dollars for our entire military for the next decade. That's like a 40 million dollars a year for the, de for the military. Uh, you can't even fund a weapons program for 40 million, billion, so. They all, they're all grumping last night. I mean, the Democrats basically that depend upon military spending in their communities are pissed at him. Because if you don't downsize the military, he's, he's going to have a quick response unit, drones, and um, and basically spy people that he's hiring from other. He's got to hire uh, insurgents from other countries to do our work now. Oh, that's not good. mercenaries. Yeah. Yeah, like you can depend on them. Actually, you know what surprised me is wasn't he just on the list for having what the most? Oh yeah, they basically, okay. he's on the human rights list human rights for basically indiscriminately killing people, so now he figures that the best way to save lives in America is to use drones, which have virtually only, the, they have a self-destruct and that's it. Once they're which fired, means, they go to the target. he's going to be more on that list. Yeah. And they said, well, one of the guys said, well, the, the only way to save your job is to basically, re, is to get rid of the man in the White House, but they're... They're looking very pleased at the fact that the Republicans are so disliked that Obama is going up in the ratings. Oh. Yeah. And a father, thankful for passing by to save children. Oh, yeah, they jumped into the water to pull the kids out. Oh, they did? Yeah. The problem is, is I'm always leery of a person that doesn't go into the water themselves, even if they can't swim. Because, I mean, I was watching a, a bad sci-fi movie with guess who was in it? Yeah. My favorite you know, actor, you know, Lorenzo Lamas. Oh, he was? And they were basically had the line in the movie, well, why did the kid steal? Well, because I thought it was the job of all animals, especially mammals, to, for, to take care of their children. Well, you're never home, so I had to do something. And the U.S. auto industry to post another good sales year. They didn't, put, they didn't have a good sales last year, folks. I mean, put, put it this way, General Motors used to sell 10 million cars a year itself. Last year, the entire industry sold 12 million. 
That year sucks. Twelve million, and they're looking to build upon that. And the Fed should regularly forecast interest rate changes. Yeah, they decided that uh, you know that they're going to under the Dodd Frank law. They're going to enforce the legislation now. They're going to let people know. They're going to be transparent on everything, except for the fact that when they're not doing their job and they're posting it instead of holding the open meetings. And is Apple losing its cool factor? Well, it always has. I mean, um, the reason why the the, uh, the uh, Apple computer went out was because it stopped being cool. Now. They said 50% uh, of all of the cell phones out there are Android, 50% of the tablets are Android. And th they said it, what it amounts to is if you've got one Apple thing, why do you need more of them? The, their businesses is selling um, well, you know peripherals. What, they selling the same Apple products because everybody I know that has Apple products, they don't have one Apple product. They have like their laptop, their computer. Cell phone, yeah, because they're all mashed up. Yeah. But the problem is, is that um, that Apple's not coming out with anything new. They're just rejiggering the old products. Yeah. And survivor of deadly Connecticut home invasion is engaged. Oh yeah, I'm mean, Oh yeah. I mean, he he really waited a long time. I guess he waited a couple of years. You know, his wife and two daughters get, you know, burned alive in a building, and then, you know, well. That's all over with that, and I'm going to go find somebody else to marry. How long would he engage for somebody else? Yeah, I mean, you don't do that. I mean, that's just like, you know. Oh, it just happened. Well, no, no. I mean, the trials are still going on about the people that killed his family, so he goes and gets engaged to someone else. That basically, you know, I would now go back to think, why did he survive the, yeah. the thing and his wife and family didn't? Uh, Catholic bishop resigns and then fathering two children. Yeah, you know, so they're not supposed to do that, but, uh, but okay. that's when you know people really do have a father figure company. I know. <laughs> I mean, I remember on um, Laverne and Shirley, Eddie McKay used to make fun of the fact that my father is father father. And they what? said, well, my, my father is a Catholic priest. And they say, well, how can your father be a Catholic priest? He said, because he was a father to me before he was a, a, before he was a priest. So you can have legitimately Catholic priests that do have children. Ah. Those are the ones you tend to think aren't gay. Yeah, but they're not supposed to be having, having children. Well, remember, that rule only went in because of the warrior pope. The, he, oh, he was, really? He was founding his own dynasty because he was, you know, he, he was uh, basically they were handing the uh, popehood off to the children of the popes. Oh. So they made it so that they didn't want to have an imperial, an imperial church. dynasty. So, that's right. And biological mom kept child and lesbian legal case. Uh, that they'll lose that one because uh, they, you know because uh, it did, okay that truck is the only way you can lose it is if you're bringing a child up to be gay. That would get you in trouble. Uh, but I mean the, the problem also exists is when I was little, it was normal for mothers to dress up their kids in you know long curls and. And but kid, little kids wore gowns. Boys and girls all wore gowns. So you, I mean, my brother hated the fact that they come up. Oh, you have such an attractive little sister. And then he would get really mad about that. Yeah, so. And Oklahoma mom won't face charges for shooting a shooter. Oh yeah, so she called the police department. The police department could hear the guy busting the door down. So they told her the police department. The police dispatcher said, shoot him. Yeah. So, and they had, so, you're not going to face charges when they're breaking it. You can hear the door being smashed in, yeah. and you're basically, you're running from one room to another as he's smashing doors in. That's when you do they it. Could, they could tell that it was self-defense. Yeah. Yeah. And Kate Middleton channels Diana with charity collections. Oh, I know. Basically, it is basically the royal family has charities that you're supposed to be involved with. Of course they do. Because they want, this is a matter, they set up the schedule for them. And they, they stay with people they know they can trust. And Connecticut University sued over sex abuse of Haitian boys. Oh, I know. I mean, I, 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 I'm beginning to doubt all of it. Okay, we've got every university and college in the nation that tends to be to the right all of a sudden has sex abuse charges against them. Not to the left, the, but the, the people on the right all have charges against them now. Somehow, and something smells. Oh, and it's even worse. Today, the Obama administration changed the rules retroactively 
So all of these people that have been charged with crimes can now be charged uh, uh, with the new version of, the, of rape now. Because Obama wants to make certain that all of these people are punished. He said, we must protect young children and, and people that are, are gay from the, you know, from the misabuse of the legal system. No, it's because he's running for re-election. Oh yeah, but we'll let the what the terrorists go free. Yeah, and a Monty bubble is for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Oh, I, I know. If you think about it too much, you may be too late to take advantage of it.